What's up guys, Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here. We are in the middle of a brutal snowstorm today. Figured I'd uh, give you guys a little look into some weather that we deal with on the residential side. Jake and I are teaming up in the truck because if we don't, we aren't gonna get the work done today. So enjoy. Yeehaw! We already got eight inches of snow. It's like 6 a.m. We're going out today. I figured I'd get some of this snowmageddon in a video for you guys. Any of you thinking of starting a garbage business in the Northeast, check out today and see if you still want to do it. All right, guys, we are at the landfill. Jake's going to get some footage. Look at this place right now. We're hopping up on the scale. I think we're not, yeah, we're not going up the big hill. They got someone blocking it. We're going to go around the backside. 99% sure. All right, we're on the scales. We got a junk removal clean out in here from yesterday and a little bit of trash. Apologize for the CB, it gets a little bit of interference when we're on the scale here. Yes, I got a copy. Yes. So normally guys, we'd go over there and up that hill where that plow truck is right now, but it's way too dangerous. So they're sending us in the back where the tractor trailers normally go. Um, to climb the hill, obviously it's a lot less steep. That's why they put the tractor trailers up that side. We do have four wheel drive in the truck, but boy, it is blowing like crazy out here. We're supposed to get 14 inches of snow out of this storm. We've probably got about five to six already, but the, the drifts is what's dangerous. Um, Martin, shout out to Martin. I know you're gonna know who you are because you watch every video and we just did a consulting call. This is what you're gonna be dealing with in Canada, baby. So. Look forward to seeing your success in the dumpster business. You can obviously shut it off on days when it's snowing like this, but residential just keeps on pounding. It's four days a week, every week, rain or shine or snow. So should be an interesting day. We're gonna get this load dumped. We'll give you some footage up top here. Pretty close here, fellas. I know you can't see much. It's super freaking. wah. It is windy up here. It's like a mountaintop, but just, Wanted to give you a little sh shot inside the landfill here. Here we go. go She's coming out. We gotta move forward. Keep coming. Keep coming. Talking to you, Curtis. Keep going forward. So there's like five inches of snow on the road, guys. Not even plowed at all. This is why four wheel drive definitely comes in handy. Some of it's drifting. You can see where some bare road is. Some of the spots got eight inches of snow on them. I mean, absolutely crazy, but it is what it is in this business. You gotta do what you gotta do. Service with a smile, boys. Service with a smile. We got about 10 inches of snow. Oddly enough, it's drifting around the can. Truck's completely whited out. Jake's running it hot. Look at that. North country weather, baby. The snow is piling up. Our cans are like three and a half feet tall and it's almost completely buried. Yeehaw! That's where we're headed, boys. Up the mountain. Truck's still looking pretty good for being covered in snow. Rolling heavy in the four wheel drive. Look at that. That'd be a lot of fun on a snowmobile. Cans blowing wide open, boys. We're up on uh, Bear Town area right now. There's like a little ski mountain up the road. She is coming down. So guys, we got a lot of fields up here. As you can see, we got some snow drifts just starting. I mean, this snow literally started like three hours ago. It's supposed to go all day. We'll see how bad it gets. Keep on trucking. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a ripple effect on the roads out here. There's like seven, eight inches of snow out here on the road. Uh, these roads just don't get touched for a while. Uh, the town, these are all back roads that we're servicing today. And the town won't touch these until later, later in the morning, early afternoon. So, you know, some spots got 10 inches of snow on the road. Some spots got one inch of snow on the road, but it's like a rhythm section 
on a motocross track driving through this right now, bumping all over the place. So we're finishing up guys. We got about five, six customers left. People plowing, loaders doing snow removal. It's definitely been one heck of a day. Complete white out. Snow's picking back up. We got five stops left and heading back to the yard. So biggest takeaways guys, some days you're gonna have to drive a little slower than normal. You're gonna have to drive a lot safer than normal. And customers are gonna call. They've been calling and texting us all day asking if we're still picking up. We did get the whole route done, um, but it is dangerous. You gotta take your time. I mean, you could, if you only had one truck and go off the road in a storm like this, you could kind of derail your whole business for like a week if you, or even more if you caused damage. So you just gotta take your time. Snow's dangerous, but uh, you can get through it just like we did and, and be on to the next day. Little aftermath here, guys. We got a good like 15, 16 inches of snow. Everything's covered up. Mountain, show you some of these banks right here. Definitely makes trucking interesting. Now, now by the fire guys, it was a heck of a day. Uh, as always, really appreciate you guys watching these videos and hitting that like and subscribe button. If you like this content, we keep coming back at you once a week. We got big things coming in the spring like I've been saying almost to that 10K subscriber mark. Appreciate all you guys. Have a good one.